Breaking in. Thank you for choosing NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Craig Smuller. And I'm Grace Smith. NBC 5 News first told you yesterday that a grand jury has determined police were fully justified in their use of force in a fatal officer involved shooting in February. Today, for the first time, we are seeing the officer's body camera footage of the dramatic scene that ends with a suspect taking his own life. We want to warn you, it is intense. NBC 5's Jenna King acquired the footage today. She joins us live in studio with our top story at 6. Jenna. Craig Grace, the footage shows a police officer and a sheriff's deputy talking with two men in the suspect vehicle before the passenger pulls out a gun and starts shooting. We want to remind you that this footage may be hard for some people to watch. Take a look. You're Dale. Yeah. He asked you if you were Dale. I did. Oh! Get back, get back! Get out, get out! A multi-agency police response to a domestic disturbance call in Eagle Point ends in gunfire. Jackson County Sheriff's Corporal Chad Prins was shot in the chest but survived uninjured thanks to his body armor. This video is from Eagle Point Police Officer Donnie Jordan's body camera. The shooting happened at the intersection of Idlewood Drive and Stevens Road, near Church on the Hill, on the evening of February 23rd. The shooting left the passenger in the truck and the man police were looking for that night, 39-year-old Dale Arthur Amstutz Dunn, dead. Oh. All right, stay right here. Stay right there. Get your hands up. According to an autopsy, he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The driver, Adam Hackworth, was sent to the hospital after being shot in the arm. We got two earlier in the evening the da's office says a witness testified that amstutz dunn was aggressive and paranoid that day she said he had been released from prison after serving a long sentence and dale said things that led her to believe that if he was confronted by police it would end in a shootout the DA's office says the grand jury took less than 10 minutes to determine that officers' actions were lawful. During the investigation, it was learned that Dale Amstutz Dunn was wanted by police in regards to a shooting that had occurred in Kaiser. Live in studio, Jenna King, NBC5 News.